Hello fellow commanders and welcome to another Panzer Corps 2 with me Bubble Box playing the Axis 1939 DLC that's just come out. We're in the second battle now. Um, I've already kind of upgraded my units and set them out as I want them and I will show you in detail what I did and where as we start to play. I wanted to do it that way just to knock five or ten minutes off the video where I'm just setting stuff up and buying new units but I will tell you what I've done. There's the gump for this particular battle including our objectives and our orders you can pause and read that at your will if you really want to um, there's the overview our main objectives are to deploy one minefield cluster these are our minefield trucks here the red ones and we've got to deploy them in these positions these hashed hex, posi hex, hex positions there's six of them we've got to lay at least one and there's bonuses for laying three or six on all of the hexes I guess I don't know how I do it but I'm assume I move the trucks onto the hexes and then deploy somehow I'm not sure how uh, but we'll see when we come to that uh, apart from that um, I bought a few extra yeah but we're going to go through that as I as I move into the game so first of all I will say I've got a northern group I've got a middle group to head towards the main town on this map which is Sarah Gwemin apologies for the pronunciation um, we are expecting some planes and we can see one already because we've got the recon buff we've got a plane on this this is basically the main town on the whole of the map um, and it's kind of in the middle of everything with a big crossroad so I'm assuming we're gonna have to move towards there at some point and I've set my units up to do just that got a big AA piece on there and an AT gun that we can see as well around that objective hex uh, although that's not an objective that's just the town if you see what I mean so we've got a northern group a central group and a southern group now we'll have a look at the northern group first and I'll just uh, end our deployment phase oh well, hold on I've got I've got someone to deploy I've got a hero have you got a hero I'm gonna give it to one of my tanks that hasn't got a hero now I did upgrade one of my Panzer ones to my the best tank that I can get in the game at the moment the Panzer 38 TA who hasn't got a hero so I'm gonna give him the hero I think um heroes sign hero so we're giving the distraction enemy units next to this unit do not provide su support fire yeah we'll give him that why the hell not okay so we'll come on to that guy in a minute he's one of the tanks i believe we captured from the check of the backing campaign and we're using it it's actually our best tank now um so over here in the north we've got a French AT gun sitting right on the road very exposed open ground hopefully we can get rid of that and we've got some bridge engineers for the French so they're getting ready it looks like to cross over here into kind of uh, this area where which is German territory because they've put some bridge engineers so I'm going to be expecting maybe an attack in this area uh, we've got uh, a little pillbox there to protect us but we're going to move forward with in fact we're going to start by just artillerying that piece I can end now I think yeah okay I'm going to start by artillerying artillerying that um, a T gun soften it up a bit give it some stress damage although yeah I'll give it five stress that's nice I will move my artillery forward shortly let's move these infantry up we might be able to spot something else which we don't uh, we've got no recon up here my recons in other places but I have got a fighter but I might not use that just yet I might use it for protection we are expecting planes and they always go for the artillery so I might use my fighters to protect my artillery at the start now we've got a breeder that's probably not the best one panzers and it might be best just to hit it with the infantry first see what it does how much damage we can do hopefully at least four well we did three but he did pull back we can still get there well oh, that that's looking more like it now he must have been dug in a little bit or something so I can get six damage with this panzer two I think I'm happy to move it all the way up to there yeah let's do that we need to try and destroy as many units as we can early on I'm expecting a fairly big oh he surrendered nice a fairly big vanguard now I'm gonna now move my artillery up in fact if I can get my tank in the front there which I can and that's my braider actually we probably won't oh I can actually move the Panzer 2C right up to there or oh yes I'm gonna do that attack this bridge engineer right on the river take him by surprise and give him a good bashing he might he might pull back no he doesn't pull back okay never mind um gonna send my own bridge engineers over in this direction 
And then where are we going to go with this braid? I think I'm going to not be too bold. I'm going to put the braid up to there. And I'm going to put my arty so it's protected behind here in case we get attacked anywhere. But should be okay. Now I've got I've bought two fighters. Okay, so everything else you've seen at the moment is the same as the last episode. This I bought two new fighters, one there, and I've got one down over here as down over here as well to protect these two areas. Um, now in my central group, the central group's going to be moving down here. This is going to be really difficult to cross, but I want to I put an artillery piece so we can like bombard some hexes around here. They have got a plane in here as well, so we're going to send down get some recon done first so we've got an infantry group dug in four might be worth attacking them before they can dig in too much if I move forward at least one more I can actually bring my artillery quite close I've got some infantry which mm, I don't really want to put in the truck to be fair so I'm going to just move them down to there and I'm probably in fact I'm almost definitely going to use this one just to protect my artillery for this turn be a little bit defensive just for the first turn or two just to see what aircraft they've got now I might I might attack here because every time they don't do anything they dig in another turn so I'm going to actually attack here even though I might I'm going to start take a bit of damage and yeah but that should we should be okay to survive there now the southern group I've got recon I've got uh, the big tank, or my best tank, and I've got a little Panzer 1B there. I've also got some flak, flak failing, and my artillery. We've got some units here. We've got a couple of nice... The French actually had really good tanks. Got a couple of nice tanks. They had really good tanks at the beginning of World War II compared to the um, any other tanks that were around at the time. But they didn't use them kind of as efficiently as the Germans. The Germans with their, or n their now well-renowned blitzkrieg tactics the french tended to use them more defensively and just didn't use them as well didn't use them in part of a combined arms like the, like the um, germans did so they weren't as effective and a lot of their early tanks did get destroyed um, by the luftwaffe etc but we are going to attack probably this infantry group first throw in some artillery so we've got three units to get past um yeah, I put the Azuls, which is the Spanish close combat unit, next to these. So I'm just wondering whether to bring... If I bring my recon down, they're going to get a bit of a buff. So I'm going to bring my recon down. Yeah, now it's seven damage. So we do that. Uh, they didn't pull back, though. Now, is it worth going? They are in the open. Four damage there. Hmm five damage against that tank this is a what is this tank an AMC I don't know what that is but it seems quite yeah it's quite potent that tank uh, nothing that can really touch it apart from my 38T so the 38T may have to go and do battle over there actually hmm so what I think I'm going to do here is I'm going to move my 38T over I may or may not attack with it this turn I'll move these guys down to here and I don't really want this guy flanking either. Um, let's. Th I could use my plane. I'm going to use my plane to strafe here. I think it gets more. Oh, actually, no. Let's let's hit this bigger tank with the plane. And we get a little bit more recon. Doesn't look like there's anything in behind. So I'm going to use my flak next I think against the infantry pushes him back okay we've still got this Panzer 1B which can probably yeah we'll move the Panzer 1B next all right got rid of one squad um, hmm hmm if I move, ah, messed up a little bit here can't use these I'm gonna move this infantry group down the road here. I think I'm going to do that attack with the, with the recon. Move this out to the flank. Do an attack for the recon. 
Oh yes, that's the last thing I did was I upgraded my two two one to a two two two. That's my for the recon. That's the last thing I did. So two new planes, Panzer one C to a Panzer thirty eight T, and I got a two two one up to a two two two. That was all my points spent. So that's what I did. Still got a lot of points, but I'm holding on to my points. I gave all my units just normal regular. Um, recruits didn't give them any, any extra special recruits because I know how much we need the points later on in this scenario possibly I think that's my first move finished now these guys I'm actually gonna for now these have got really long range so I'm gonna just leave them around here because my fighter will protect these guys until come on until we take some areas where they can lay some mines so we'll end the turn there quite a long first turn but we'll speed up now we've got some bombers coming in or a fighter bomber are they uh, fighter in only a only a five we might be able to take that out and another fighter bomber so three aircraft wow okay this is the big tank I'm worried about at the moment doing us three damage but taking a bit of damage back which is nice right so they've got so I'm just interested in what these aircraft are Where's those bombers? Oh, one over here. Yeah, I did attack our, re our recon here. So this is a Portez. Uh, I'm not aware of what a Portez is. Um, fighter bomber is it or is it a pure bomber? I guess it's a fighter bomber. I um, don't know how to get the information up on it. I'm guessing it's a fighter bomber. I think it is. Um, anyway, we might as well start in the middle now we're here. So we're going to start off by bombarding this guy. We need to get our, uh, what are they, just a standard Wehr infantry up. And I'm going to pull my recon back for a turn at least. And then I'm going to bring my fighter down to attack this bomber. Although I would like, oh hold on, I would like to try and kill this fighter. Now luckily I've got my flak right next door so I can invert that, switch that up do some damage okay and then we can go in with the fighter I can try and cover some units at the same time yeah so I'm not gonna go for the bomber I'm gonna try and just get rid of a unit off the field so we'll kill because otherwise they can return to base and and reinforce so we're gonna head over here and just finish this fighter off hopefully down it goes okay so that's got rid of one fighter for the French even though it's a poor one uh, they're all done leaving them there let's do the north next so we've got to get rid of these bridge engineers um, I could probably get my artillery in position if I move up I would like to move my infantry forward I think to get some a little bit of recon so there's nothing up there so actually I'm just going to hit that I think without the artillery yeah let's hit that hopefully it'll pull back and then hopefully I can get my braider my, my sorry my bridge engineers across onto the river if I finish them it'll be a bonus right so they're down right okay now we've got the little town of Blisbrook here with an airfield now coming up this way is going to be risky because we have to cross the river this way is not going to be so risky but we don't know what's around here so what I might do here I might send my Panzer 1 2 C up with my infantry along the north with the artillery as well I think if I send the artillery to there they can get a shot on that art those infantry which are just one dug in and then we'll send oh I can move my tank across Ooh, nice now I don't want to send it too far in case there's stuff over here so we'll just send it just over the river and then I might take my braider across here as well so there doesn't seem to be a lot here at the moment just that bomb up which is going to be a pain in the arse because I haven't got any anti-air over here I've just got this fighter which is at this base done the center let's do the south we've got a cavalry unit that's appeared here um, we've still got the two tanks and now we've got another cavalry unit um, 
Now I fired this but I might move it just to block it because sometimes they try and get behind your lines and they could create havoc if they do that. So I'm just going to move my anti-air piece to there. Um, now then, this tank's the biggest problem I think. So do I want to get my recon? I could force my way through there, get my recon on both of these tanks and I'll have a first shot with my 38T. Yeah, okay, I really want to kill this. Let's go in with the infantry next. Then with the tank. Oh, hold on, what about the artillery? Yes, the artillery, I forgot about that. Tank. I would really like to kill this. Oh, he's going to survive. Now I think I can still move my recon forward. Yeah, he's going to survive though, isn't he? Yeah, I'm going to move there just to stop him because he could... Oh, I don't know, I don't think... I don't want him to come up and take my... I think if he takes the airfield then we lose our aircraft. I'm not sure, so we've got to be really careful of that as well. Ah, uh, so... Here... Hmm... I might just reinforce that briefly. And then I'm just going to reposition bits and pieces. I'm actually going to put my that back there so they can't take that just in case he tries to nip behind enemy lines. Um, I just don't want this cavalry unit to zip up the north either so I'm going to put that over to there. And then it's just this infantry which we're going to stick on the road and then I think we've got most of our areas covered. Oh he's got a shot still. Let's do that. Oh look I didn't even look, I didn't even see we'd notice Diffling. And oh, we're actually in range of their artillery. I didn't even notice that down there. So we've got some artillery piece, we've got some infantry dug in six, and we've got some artillery. No, it's an AT gun on the right there, and maybe something behind. So that's that. I think that's everything moved for turn two. Let's end our turn. Bombers back to base. Okay. Okay, yeah. Bombers always attack the weakest. Infantry forward. Okay. At least our AA can fire back. Just moved him out of the way. Oh, our artillery took a hit there. Okay, it actually manages to take a shot on the tank. We're going to start over there, I think. Uh, so, where were the planes? We've got one over our bridge engineers. Got one here. Now. Yeah. Yeah, attacking our artillery, what a pain. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start in the middle again. I'm going to reinforce my recon. I'm going to move that bombard and get a, get, get a shot in with my infantry. Nice bit of damage, pull back in fact. I can't take advantage though. Um... Okay, let's think about what to do with our 109 in a second. This is going to be a pain, this bomber. Maybe I should just go over there. I'm going to go over and attack that bomber with my 109, I think. Because we haven't got any anti-air over this side. Right. This tank, what is that? A Hotchkiss. I think that's an AT gun rather than a tank. Not quite sure. I think it is. But it's right in the face of our artillery at the moment. Um, we didn't put our Brader here, unfortunately. We put our Panzer II. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to go a little bit defensive. Move that back. Take a shot on that. I'm going to move this to there. And the infantry to engage up here where their infantry are. Take a shot on their tank. And then I'll take the best shot that I can with my infantry. Always oh, pull back. Okay, we'll attack their infantry then. 4-4. Four, four. Okay, we'll take it. We came out worse. But that's kind of okay. Dealing with that. Now, here, um, we might need the bridge engineers to get one of these across. But for now, I think we'll move our bridge engineers forward. Again, just to recon a little bit. 
unfortunately we haven't got a proper recon here so we're gonna have to move a little bit slowly in case we get ambushed it doesn't look like there's a lot here does it I'll be cautious okay that's all we can do there maybe I could have just rushed through right next we've done the middle just the south now so that cavalry unit didn't manage to break through we're all okay good 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 can we get a shot with this guy we can so let's move him here now I'd really like to finish this tank off if I can only two damage I just want to keep out of the way of their artillery here as well for now until we mop these guys up only one damage that is sick and that's sick in a bad way not a good way let's reinforce hold on let's just do I reinforce or do I just push a little bit? I'm going to push a little bit. And I'm going to move forward because I don't want him to be able to reinforce efficiently. But I could move my infantry across. A little bit worried again about this guy getting forward to my base. Hmm, and we've got these cavalry units up here. Let's switch. Oh, that's no good. We're going to reinforce that. Let's take a shot here. Let's see what they do. Yeah, it's not good. I'm uh, fighting infantry against tanks here. I'm going to go for the tank here. Yeah, I think he is encircled. And I don't want it to get up towards our airfield, that's for sure. So we'll keep firing on the tank for this turn. I'm going to move right in behind on the road. Okay, that's all I can do, I think, this turn. feel like I'm getting bogged down a little bit apart from here. But uh, let's end turn, see what happens. Bomber's back to base. Okay. Yeah, up against our artillery once again. Infantry trying to attack forward. Fresh cavalry unit coming in in the town. And they're attacking our AA again, which is fine. That's fine. Oh, we've got a weak infantry unit here. Down to one health. That's not great. But at least they're not breaking through and taking our airfield. All right. Okay. Now, I just want to see if we can tack two planes now onto this bomber I think we can use both our 109s onto this bomber but let's just see what we want to do with our ground units first we can protect our ground units next turn so I'm going to take another shot with my artillery but I'm going to come forward and support this time with my recon take a shot I'm going to take a shot with the recon as well and then we can pardon and then we can bring forward our 109 uh, put it above these infantry that will protect the infantry, all these three units I think reduce the damage against this fighter bomber which is quite strong actually doing us a pretty pretty bit of damage back if I had three fighters I could finish these guys off but yeah it is what it is I guess okay we'll do the north at the end let's just sort out this south they're still trying to break through here um, Let's attack this time with the tank first. Okay, then with you. Okay, you are definitely going to have to reinforce. Oh my god, got really low on health. Oh, this tank still... Right, destroy it. I might get a breakthrough here. It's not called a breakthrough, can't remember what it's called. Well, I didn't get one. But what I can do is... Yeah, I'm gonna move. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna move this tank across here, just to block this guy. I'm gonna move these infantry down. Oh, think. Oh, not sure what I did there. Okay, just move that. 
No. Oh, I'm making mistakes now. Okay, move this to there. Oh, my artillery. Yes, yes, yes. I can actually take a shot with my artillery. And we'll move in with the recon here. Infantry first. Okay, then the recon. Oh, we've got another armoured car moving up as well. Pushes him back a bit more. Got to be careful again. He doesn't try and flank. So I'll just move my recon out there. Cover my artillery as well. All right. Uh, let's move up to the north. So uh, there was a tank that Hodgkiss pulled back. So let's hit with our arty first. Now I'm happy I've got a tank and not the uh, AT gun. Uh, do a bit of damage here. Yeah, pulls back, move forward. Finish him, come on. Okay, now I don't know where that tank's gone, but we can move our artillery forward. And we can continue down here with our dudes here. We can get us a bit of recon. Oh, I could have moved it one more, couldn't I? Damn it. Right, what's on here? We've got the uh, bomber and an anti-air unit as well. Okay. So we probably want to try and take that out. If we move to there, we get some recon as well, I think. Ooh, that's why. Yeah, that's not good. Let's take out the um, artillery first, I think because that will support every all the ground units. So we'll do some damage against their artillery. So it's really good we've come around the bottom here, because if we'd come around the top, they would have had all these in support, and it would have been almost a bloodbath trying to get across that river with all this artillery support at the back. So that's that. Okay, let's end turn. All right, is that a fresh, is that a fresh tank, or is that the same tank? I'm not sure. That's definitely a fresh armoured vehicle we've got there. And they're moving their other stuff around. Bombers coming in against our bridge engineers. Artillery is just going to pound our tank. They seem to have a lot of units in this friggin' scenario. Alright, okay. Um, can't really attack this bomber here because of oh hello let's do the north first because there is a artillery piece made an appearance really close so let's do this some serious damage shall we oh that's an ambush is it no okay well we definitely want to take out wow another AA piece so many units I'm actually gonna oh I'm actually gonna reinforce my uh, infantry just take a turn to do that and I'll move, mm, yeah, I'll move my artillery just up there. I can move this along one, just to, that's another, yeah, just, just to scout a little bit. Yeah, nothing there, but I do need to do this, get rid of these pieces here. So let's take that one out. Downed, nice, and an overrun, oh, that is amazing. Wow, destroyed that, those. I think I can finish that off. Let's not get too close to the town just yet. Ooh, that was dangerous in case they had other units over here. Right, so we've got this southern area almost locked down. Um, and I think I will do a little attack on this anti-air piece here with my infantry. Okay. I'm liking what's happening in the north. Took a bit of damage there. Oh no, it wasn't damage, it's just suppression damage, that's okay. Right, let's do the middle. Uh, now in the middle, we did we reinforce last time? I don't know. We didn't get bombed this time, so I think we're going to just continue the attack on these cavalry. Oh, that's a move there. Now then, do I move my infantry in? Oh no, because there's an AT gun sitting behind. So we'll just move our infantry up to take that because that AT gun's there. This this is going to do nothing. We can't get across the river. So what I'm going to do with this guy is we haven't got recon on this side, so I'm going to send him up and across so that we can get some recon on the other side. Still going to keep my mining trucks back just a little bit longer. 
Now over here we've got to finish off these cavalry. Now if I use a tank I might get an overrun here. So let's let's use the 38T and hope we get an overrun. Yes. Alright, now we get to use it again. Um, let's come round. Uh, let's come to here. That gives us recon on this airfield where there's nothing. Oh, these infantry and stuff are looking very weak. Um, let's move my artillery across onto the road. Let's bombard this guy. Yeah, we need to uh, uh, reinforce a little bit around here for sure. That's nice though. Yeah, we'll take that. Um, shall I move through to there? Yes, because that is set up as an AT at the moment. And I'll move that one down and I'll take a shot. That covers our flank a little bit on this side. Now this one, I'm not going to dislodge that. So I'm just going to reinforce him in place. It's not going to be too healthy, but what can you do? And then I'm going to attack here. I'm going to come down and hopefully push him back. No. And I'm going to just reinforce there. I don't want to lose any units if I can help it. I've still got my planes, which I just about forgot about, which I'm just going to reinforce for this turn. So they're back up to full health for next turn. And let's end the turn. Okay, bombers back to base. Attacking our flank flak once again. Okay. I don't know why all the hexes are, are um, highlighted. Oh, bomber's back in action again. Wow, our AA piece is looking well battered. Got some cavalry moving across the river. Our infantry got attacked that time as well. There's that Hodgkiss. Oh, is it? Is there two Hodgkiss? Hodgkai? Hodgkisses? How do you pronounce it? That is a... Oh, that's a Renault. One of the Renaults. This is, must be the Hodgkiss, is it? Yeah, still only a seven now, though. So let's start up here. Now we've got two full strength fighters. Where are their bombers? There's a bomber here. I think I'm going to just attack that bomber. No, let's do the middle first so we can protect our arty and stuff. Uh, uh, maybe I should just reinforce this turn. Let's reinforce there. And I'm going to reinforce my arty. I'm going to keep moving this guy. I don't think he can get across the river without my bridge engineer, so we're going to send him. We'll send him around on the road. Um, now I'll hold back on the 109s while I'm just checking out what business we can do down here. They've got they're quite strong around Ippling. They really are. So yeah, they've got some strong units here. Where's our 38T over there? Quite damaged. Okay, I'm going to damage the biggest one first. Okay, that's two, and I think I'm going to be able to pull back as well. I think I'd like to do that, but I will bring the recon in as well. Yeah, and I'm going to pull that back a little bit, get it out of harm's way. So it's down to eight. Move my recon across. Oh, they've got all protection here, so that's that's a no-no until we get around the back. So, if I send my tanks, that's going to be supported by the AT gun. Holy moly, that's not good either. I'm not sure what to do here. I think the best thing to do is kind of ignore it for a turn and reinforce. And I'm going to grab this town. Oh, another cavalry unit. Grab that town. Reinforce my big tank. Now the infantry. Um, yeah, those aren't good odds, are they at all? No, it's just reinforcements. And this guy. 
can attack the artillery. Let's attack the artillery. Here. Everything else is just getting... I'm getting bogged down in the south for sure. I think this is where you make your choices. Do you go for all the objectives or do you just keep the units together and just move around one side of the map? Maybe that would have been a better idea, but here this is just impossible. So we need full strength units, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to full strength all our units there. We're going to use these fighters to attack this bomber and to protect our units next turn a little bit. Okay, only took one off though. Hopefully this one will do a little bit better. Mm, okay. Right, over here, we're looking good for Blythesbrook because we've come around the south here. Quite a lot of units left up here, so let's just continue to pound at these a little bit. Oh, that's got support, so let's attack the infantry here. Okay, and then we'll move our infantry up. Then they, oh, they still get some, yeah, yeah, it's worth it. Keeps these uh, locked in this position while we attack Blythesbrook as well. Now Blythesbrook is dug in nine. I think next objective, kill this tank and take the airfield if pos. So let's just move in, see what all the odds are. I think the uh, definitely the tank first. It's a strong one, but it's only seven health, so down to four. Oh, surrendered. That's nice. And then we can continue to attack this unit into here. In fact, we captured the Hodg Hodgkiss. Hodgkiss. Right, so that's decent. Now I'm thinking of sending this guy across to get this recon. So we're going to send him over. No, I'm not. Oh, no, that was a misclick. I'm going to redo that one. I'm going to leave him where he is, I think, because we need to get rid of this AA piece and the tanks are going to struggle. So I think that's it for that turn. Uh, yeah, I think so. Um, I think I'm going to end this episode. Did I move that? Yeah, end this episode here. So we're making good progress with our northern group, I think. We haven't laid any mines yet, though. We're kind of just hassling them in the town, and we're getting a bit bogged down with our southern group. Uh, and that's how it stands at the moment. So um, please do give me a thumbs up. That's the most important thing. If you really do that, it would please me no end and encourage me to make more videos. Um, subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.